Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron. Today I'm going to attempt to speckle this lovely cotton jute uh, yarn and some white cotton floss. Now I'm going to be using, uh, I'm going to use sea glass and Wedgwood Blue uh, fibre reactive dyes from Dharma. Now, when I've speckled in the past, I tend to go in quite heavy. So I'm going to try really, really hard to show a bit of restraint today. Uh, these, this uh, yarn and the floss has been soaking in soda ash uh, solution for a while. It only really needs to be soaked for about half an hour, but this has been several days ago I set this up. I've got all this lovely dye on my fingers. I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to wipe it on this extra bit of cotton floss. And then go wash my hands to make sure they're completely dry. I've chosen to use sea glass and Wedgwood Blue because, well, A, I love these colours. And they're beautiful but also uh, they break beautifully as well I've seen uh, and that means they uh, the dye splits into the colour molecules that it's made up of bring you in close here you can see this is Wedgwood blue the lovely dark blue but you can see it's breaking you can see that little spot of pale blue there, nice yellow, touch of green, looks like there might even be some red in there as well, and some pinks, and that's what breaking is, we get these lovely beautiful colours from one colour. Now if we have a look at the, uh, sea, the sea glass, again you can see this is just one colour, but you can see you've got lovely greens, we've got the blues and yellows, it's beautiful. This is on some cling film on a, a tea towel just because I want to protect my surface here. Let's try flipping this, see so if we can get some dye on the other side. I'm going first with the Wedgwood Blue. I'm not going to keep just to where uh, I put the Wedgwood Blue on, on the other side. I'm going to mix it up a little bit so we've got the two, two colours blended, hopefully. When I change pots, I wash my hands and make sure they're totally dry before putting my hands in to the dyes. I'm wearing gloves and my mask because I'm dealing with powder dyes. Uh, I don't want this, I don't want to breathe this, uh, this powder in. I need to make sure the corners are done as well. There we go. Now, hopefully, we've got some beautiful speckles here. Hopefully we'll be able to keep them. These are my two little skeins that, flossed skeins that I've just wiped my fingers on. Now I'm going to wrap this up, trying not to move. Actually, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. What I'm going to try to do is lift this up, just move, move these over to the side just for a second. Well, I use these little mops to get up the powder dye that's still on the cling film. There we go. All right. And now I am going to just wrap this up in cling film and let it sit for a minimum of six hours but the longer the better 
Uh, it will probably be several days by the time I get to get around to washing these. But that's all right. As I said, the longer the better. Okay, so a few days later and started on unwrapping these. This was the, uh, so we've got the cotton jute with the Wedgwood blue and sea glass. There's some beautiful breaking in here. That looks lovely. And then we've got the cotton that I speckled. That's gorgeous as well. And then the two little floss mops that I use to uh, just wipe my fingers on. So they're all they're all done. And now I'm just going to rinse these with a bit of cool tap water and add a little bit of washing up liquid just to help remove some of the excess dye. And then once the water runs clean, clear, quite a lot of blue. I can hang this outside. And the blues can take a long time to wash out, so I might be here for a while trying to wash all this out. And here is our finished dyed fibre. I'm really, really happy with how these have turned out. The speckles aren't overly sharp, but as you can see, there are still some dots all around and the dyes have broken. I deliberately chose Wedgwood Blue, this one, because I know it breaks into beautiful pinks and beautiful yellows. And the sea glass, you can see it's there are some dark specks and some sort of aqua blue, it fades to aqua blue almost. And there are still some lovely white patches, uh, but the, it's got good coverage, this yarn. Um, you can see it's just, I think it's quite stunning actually. And we've got the speckled uh, cotton floss as well. As you can see the same thing has happened, the dyes have broken into the colours they're made of. So there's some lovely yellow splodges here, even though I didn't use any yellow dye. And same with pink, there's some lovely pink splodges. Uh, again, I didn't use any pink dye. And the speckles on here are, are quite a bit sharper, actually, than the speckles on this. If we compare them together, you can see we've got some lovely sharp speckles here, but mostly on the yarn, they've sort of spread out a bit more. And then we've got the two um, little floss mops that, that I use just to wipe my fingers on. And you can see on these, the dye has broken. You can see the the yellows and the pinks and all the different hues on this. And I like this one particularly because uh, it's quite a solid green with some little specks of colour here and there, which I think is great. And this one, that's just really, really pretty. I'm really happy with these. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday. I like to experiment with different fibre types, different dyes, different techniques. Uh, so there should be something different and new in every video that I produce. Thank you so much for watching.